Today I'm going to do a special video that I have wanted to do for a long time. I'll call it 250 subscriber special. I'm going to camp inside my Tesla Model Y. It's 2021 model rear wheel drive. I have a couple of these windshield heat protectors are going to block the windows. I'll probably remove this. I don't know who invented this. You have to push it real hard to get it up. And after that it might just come down like this and you cannot put anything inside with one hand. So I'll just remove this one. Okay, let's check the measurements. From here to tailgate is okay. So the bed is from corner to corner something like 180 centimeters and I'm going to have this cardboard here to a little bit extend the bed and I don't want my head to hang over this edge here so now I'll just pack up all the things and get going maybe I'll maybe a little bit vacuum this because I don't want to have any dirt in my bed. All clean. Okay, so everything is packed up. I removed this trunk cover that would be in the way and now I'll just go okay I'm on the move now I reset the trip meter so I can see how much energy I will consume the temperature is at minus one I think it's going to be something like that for the night and actually I'm going to cabin in Heinola but first I'll go to this shop in Heinola city market and I'll maybe top up there a little bit. Tesla just updated this car and after that it has been nagging me all the time. Whenever I watch the screen, even for the speed, it tells me to pay attention to the road. And I had to put this cover in front of this cabin camera. After that it only rewinds as often it did before. I just passed Lahti and the consumption is 166 watt hours per kilometer. So I think it's quite low considering the temperature is below zero, like minus two degrees. I preheated the car a little bit before I left home. It's now sucking some heat from the battery. And therefore the consumption is lower than it would normally be. According to navigation, I'm in Heinola city market in 18 minutes and I will have 71% left. I'll top up there if there's places to charge. I don't know. There's been some traffic today. It's Friday evening. And also there's this big strike going on in Finland. I don't even know if the shop is open. I, I was planning to buy some food for me to cook while camping. Let's see. Last time I was here there were chargers there, but now it's 
just a construction site and I don't want to go to another charger but I found some food from the city market I have now 69% I think I have like 40 kilometers to go to cabin I think I'll be fine it might be close call after after the night I don't know how cold it's going to be how much energy the camp mode is going to consume but uh, we'll see So now I'm about 40 kilometers to closest charger. I hope I won't run out of juice because the temperature was going down while I was coming here. It's, it's now minus 6 and I'm down to 58%. Now it's time to start the fire, so I can get to cooking. No smoke without the fire. Okay, so what I got here, I placed some aluminum foil first. I made it double. I'm just going to slow cook my food. Carrots and onion. I think that's about enough. And some grillings seasoning. I think it's mostly salt, pepper and chili. Some paprika, maybe garlic. Let's put in a maybe a little bit more. And then some olive oil this way more oil
here. Nice package. And then I just place it here. Just like that. Fingers are freezing. It's like minus eight. Like this raw meat sausage. Okay. And I'll just place it over here. I don't want to touch these because these are raw meat. And I just close this just like I did with the wet cheese. Somewhere here. Okay, then I'll go check the car. Okay, so while I have my food already cooking I can take care of this car I need to remove all the stuff from the back place this mattress here and the pillow and the blanket and everything I'm all done I have the mattress here installed this mattress is from IKEA it's 140 centimeters wide but I had to cut some pieces out of here because I think it was like maybe one meter or 90 centimeters wide here but here in the back seat area it's 140 The veggies still are not hot. Sausage, in the other hand, gets warm very quick. So it's more in the side and the veggies are more in the fire because they were frozen in the first place. So they need to cook a little bit longer. Okay, food is finally ready. The vegetables are cooked, mm, nice and soft. The sausages uh, came a little bit crispy, but I think it's better than eat raw meat. Mm, very good. And for drink I have this Madeira wine, it's very sweet. I think it will fit for this food perfect. Okay, now I have eaten. I washed my teeth and I think I'm ready to go to sleep. So I have 55% left. I think the camp mode stops heating once the charge level drops down to 20%. I don't know. Let's see if it goes down so low then I will be very cold <laughs> so now it's 21 24 so if I sleep let's say 10 hours then it will be like 8 in the morning okay so now I put this camp mode on I think I'll, I don't know, should I keep it medium or low setting the, the fan, I don't know if it's too loud with the medium, so I, I, I'll put it to low, let's see how it goes. Okay, this is my setup this evening. 
I placed the windshield heat shield thing uh, in the roof using these sun visors or sun shields and sun visors here because those are magnetic so you can place anything under them and here a couple more of these I think for my feet it's the coldest place but I have wool socks everyone in Finland uses these in winter if they have cold floor or anything you know this I think I'll be fine Good morning. It's seven seven forty in the morning. I cannot say I slept well. Also my watch says I beat actual sleep time six hours. I don't feel like that. I wasn't feeling any cold. But I don't know, there's this little bit noise and maybe I was just a little bit too excited. Also this mattress isn't as soft as I have gotten used to in home. But anyways, I watched the temperature at night. It was something around 16. And now I'm making tea with this plugs into cigarette lighter thing here I don't know I saw that the charge level was at 22% and the heating stops at uh, 20 so I needed to get up I'll just make some tea and then I'll just leave Time to get out I have my shoes here It snowed last night. I just got a message that the battery is at 20% so the heating turned off. And the time is... Uh, oh, it says 25%. I don't know. But okay, 8.09 so I can calculate the energy consumption from that okay I'll start going the flaps are doing something there's some ice sticks under the car Also. Now I'm going to ABC charging station in Heinola. I'm going to have 9% left when I'm there. It's fun to drive these smaller roads that hasn't been plowed yet. There's some places that have maybe like 10 centimeters of snow. I calculated how much the car consumed while in camp mode. When I started it was 55%, when I ended it in the morning it was 21. Times 
battery capacity divided by 100 divided by time I used. This is 10.75 hours, so it's 1.78 kilowatts. That doesn't sound much. I think the temperature was, I started it at minus 6 and in the morning it was around 0 or minus 1. It snowed on the car, I don't know if that cools down the car a little bit. Yeah, that's how much it takes energy to camp with the car like this. So if you want to sleep the night, your car heated, you should leave your car with at least 55% because if you stay in the car like 11 hours I, as I did it will consume about this much energy. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it. So before you go don't forget to hit that like button. Do you have any questions, thoughts or even some ideas for future videos? Drop them down in the comments below. Your input helps the channel and I will respond to each comment. See you next time.